I'm quite obsessed with the fiction thing. In, in the 20th century, fiction and storytelling became a problem. How to go on telling stories when every story had been told? So the modern uh, cinema broke up with the argument, with, with, the, with, with the story as the possibility for, for fiction. So fiction went out of everything, went well, everywhere. So everywhere, everything could became fictional. The times when nothing happens, people doing nothing, all that replaced adventures and intrigue and everything. I knew that the voiceover was uh, it, it was a way of letting images go. The general uh, accusation against voiceover is that uh, kind of the voiceover kind of chains the images to the sense given by the voiceover. Sometimes it's true. Sometimes uh, people use this voiceover to explain things that images can't. But when I saw through false experience or come on, or some Wells experience in the Magnificent Ambersons and, and everything, I knew that that voiceover was not in the, in, in, in the place where images should be, but they were like uh, letting images to be free and avoiding their uh, duty to narrate the film. The, the film was narrated and images could be free and could be without any kind of, uh, how to say it, job. They didn't have to do the job of narrating the film. And that could be a film that spoke about everything. I knew that the voiceover was the way of an unlimited picture that, after, that, that could go on and on and on narrating after the film's gone. It's like a machine that narrates, that turns everything into narration and whatever happened and wh whatever you threw it into the machine, it would become a cinematic narration. So, that's what I wanted to do. It's uh, irrelevant to that th th the differences between the cinema and the literature are irrelevant. Shakespeare or Borges or Kafka and I are we're dealing with the same questions. They are as answering better. That's the only <laughs> difference there. But the, the, the difference is that we are dealing with the same questions as Velázquez and Picasso. That, that that's, makes it more difficult for us. Literature deals with how to tell, how to tell uh, the, the world into a story, how to turn the world into words, how to uh, translate the outside world into uh, one, mind, one man's mind or one man's thoughts. Well, that are the same questions for a writer than for a filmmaker. And I think that uh, we don't. We we shouldn't. Uh, we, we should stop asking about the differences, and we should start asking about their similarities. Is fiction still a possibility for mankind? If you want a, a big, well, I don't know, but we are working on it. <laughs>